as things heat up, uh, the coast is a very popular place to be, no doubt about that. <laughs> yes, it is. You know, Wayne, we were talking about uh, that fire that started at southeast uh, Mount near, Hood. Yeah, near Mount Hood there. Near sure. Mount Hood. So I was checking out our Timberline camera. We can just now start to see some smoke and hazy conditions behind the lodge. Uh, the nice thing is the wind gusts uh, uh, only have to about 10 miles per hour. It's 70 degrees up there at Timberline. As we look at the forecast, the winds are coming out of the west throughout our evening up there at Mount Hood. Uh, very calm though in the early morning hours. However, once we get to tomorrow afternoon, that's when they're going to pick up uh, near the 20 mile per hour zone. But just like Wayne said, people have been out enjoying the coast. It's beautiful at Lincoln City, blue skies. It's 60 degrees right now. So many folks out there enjoying Lincoln City. The Dow's very warm and very breezy right now. Winds out of the northwest at 24 miles per hour. Uh, so 83 degrees in the gorge currently in Portland. We are now a tad warmer. And what we saw in the last couple of hours, we're at 75 degrees. The winds here are out of the west northwest at 10 miles per hour. As we go into our evening hours by 10 p.m., we'll look at the low 70s, but a pretty clear, calm evening for us here in Portland. We only did uh, reach the 75, that's with the warmest. So these are the unofficial daytime highs, but well below our normal high for this time in July mainly because of our cloud situation that we saw earlier today, but very warm out in central Oregon and the gorge. 93 the daytime high for Bent. Here's what we can expect for the rest of the weekend. Here in the metro area, we will be in the low to mid 80s tomorrow. There is a red flag warning for the central mountains of our state as we're staying dry here in the metro area. So this region highlighted by the red, that's the red flag warning in effect until 11 p.m. tonight. And that is due to the potential threat of thunderstorms. So that's something else to think about as we think about that fire that started southeast of Mount Hood. Uh, there is that potential of thunderstorms out there as well. Rain chances, though, for the long term here in Portland, we are not seeing any in the forecast, and thus the fire weather danger is elevated around our region, especially out towards the gorge. This is uh, this evening, and then when, as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening, it will be elevated as well. Here's the latest drought monitor. We took a time lapse from Mon Monday, from May, I mean, to July, and now you see central Oregon. That's where they're now either in the severe or moderate category of our drought and much of our state. In fact, 47% of us in the state of Oregon are now in the drought category. Checking out the Tunnel 5 fire. This is where gusts have really been picking up uh, this afternoon and evening. Now in the 6 o'clock hour, gusts are still out of the west, but at 27 miles per hour and they really don't die down much. I mean, by 9 p.m. a little bit, but then those gusts are really still going strong in our early morning hours. The current air quality around our region, even out in the gorge, everyone is in the good category at the moment. The coast's a lovely day tomorrow after we do see those morning clouds, but highs in the low to mid 60s. Here is our seven day forecast for us here in Portland. Warmer than what we saw today. Some morning clouds though, and then a nice, cooler, pleasant start to the week before we start to warm right back up late next week. Point 6 News, we'll be right back.